I knew I never wanted to have children. Mm-hmm. And I thought, honestly, the only reason I would get married was be- because it would make the kids legitimate. Mm-hmm. And since I didn't want kids, I just felt like marriage was unnecessary. What's up, my people? It's your boy, Italian David Do. At this very moment, I'm right here with... Christy. Christy, where are you from? I'm from Florida, USA. Wow, how are you doing today? I'm doing beautifully, thank you for asking. You're welcome. So, um, tell me, why are you here? I'm here because I love Rome and I've been about 25 times. Wow. Um, I come on my own and then I can just kind of cruise around and do what I want to, enjoy the sights. Um, one of the cafes over on Piazza Venezia, I have several good friends there, so I'm going to go see them before I leave tomorrow. Wow. And have a little, little gelato. Um, how different is um, Italy from the States? Mm, that's okay that requires a little bit of thought the first thing is the United States is so young Mm -hmm. and new Mm -hmm. that we don't have anything that rivals the archaeological sites in Italy the culture of Italy the food of Italy the people of Italy I just there's it's a whole different culture and I greatly appreciate that and I don't want to say that I don't appreciate the United States because I do I love my country but I also can appreciate uh, some of the differences, some of the things that I like better here, and some of the things that I like better there. Wow. I would say that it's more convenient mm-hmm. in the United States because we're lazier. And you guys walk everywhere, and in the United States, if we walked everywhere, everyone would die and instantly because nobody does, except in the, some of the cities. Wow. So tell me, um, how old are you, Ma? I'm 72. 72? Yes. Wow. So what have kept you this young? I teach high school, so I teach teenagers, Mm -hmm. and boy do they keep you young, because trying to keep up with them um, mentally, Mm -hmm. physically, Mm -hmm. emotionally, Mm -hmm. uh, requires a lot of thought and effort, and so I think the more that you work, the younger you stay, because you are keeping, taking better care of yourself, and you're also taking care of the, your brain, and your heart, and your soul. So tell me, like, uh, how many countries have you been to? I kind of lost count, to be honest. Uh, I've stayed main. I've been to Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji. That's the farthest I've been. Mm-hmm. I have been to almost every Western uh, European country. I have been to Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia Herzegovina, uh, wow. Serbia. Wow, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Bermuda. So, so tell me now, uh, are you married? I am not married. Really? Yes. Like you don't have you don't have kids? I do not have kids. Haven't you been in a relationship? Oh, certainly. I've had several lovely, lo- many very nice relationships. Okay. Um, never any that I really want. Okay. To be perfectly honest, I knew I never wanted to have children, mm-hmm. and I thought honestly the only reason I would get married was be because it would make the kids legitimate. Mm-hmm. And since I didn't want kids, I just felt like marriage was unnecessary. Really? Hmm. So, like, um, how were you able to cope from, from your younger age in this very moment, like, you're not having kids? I borrow everyone else's every day in school. And I take them on trips. I have brought students to Europe before, to Italy before. Uh, when they are getting on my nerves or I'm having trouble, I can send them home to mom and dad and they can take care of the problems. But while they're mine and while they're in school, I love them and I teach them and I take care of them. Uh, So I feel like that's kind of the same way if I had my own children without a lot of the problems that come along with having to deal with children. I just don't think I would be a very good mother, to be honest. Really? I didn't want to, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Do you regret not having kids? Every now and then there are times when I think to myself, wow, I would love to have brought my son or daughter to Italy with me. Wow. Or, wow, this is a really, we went to Disney World and it was a really nice time and I think that we would have had a really good time if I had children. But it's really not often that I do that, to be honest. A lot of times I'll go, gosh, I'm glad I didn't have to drag a child through all this. So, meaning you're happy not having kids? I am. Really? Yes. So like the you guy, don't believe me? Do <laughs> no, no. Like um, I'm curious. You understand? Like uh, I would say that um, it seems strange to me. You understand? That's okay. Yeah. Like like the guys you met while you are young in your in your twenties or in your thirties. Mm-hmm. Like, do not they try to like um, persuade you to have kids or maybe get married? I had yes, I've had a couple. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to. To be perfectly honest, it's a selfish reason. I did not care to be married because I knew I get bored of people. I knew that I would get divorced because I just, I get, I want to move on. I don't want to spend all my time with one person. Now, everybody tells me that's because I didn't meet the right person. That may be true. That may be true. Oh, okay. Oh, should I also say you have, do you have issue with uh, commitments? I don't think so because I commit myself so fully to my classes and my students and to my friends. I feel I don't like have to any... a man, to a man. Like you have issue being committed mm -hmm. to a man because you say that you don't, you don't want to be I with might, one. I might have commitment issues to one particular person, I guess I could. When I was younger, I was very good at commitment. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm older, not so much when it comes to men. Right? To be perfectly honest, I'm not interested anymore. I'll be friends with men. But I'm not interested in a relationship anymore with a like a lover relationship. I'm 72, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Well, it's looking good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. But. Okay. So, so what um what do you have to say about marriage? I think it is perfectly wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think it is a great establishment. I think that because people get married, they are committing their lives to themselves, to their partners, to their children, and many of them to their church, and I greatly respect that. I have no problem with marriage at all. I just, not for me. Okay, now, let's say if you are to go back to your 20s or to your early 30s, will you still like to get married? No, because then my life would have turned out differently from the way that it has, and I like my life the way it is. I like being able to say, okay, so um, I'm not going to be at school for two weeks because I'm going to go to Italy. And having them go, okay, because I'm uh, part-time now because I retired in 2017 because I was old already. Uh, and now I can pretty much do what I want to, and I really appreciate that independence. There are some people who are afraid of that, I love it. I really? relish it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And if a problem arises, I have to take care of it. It's my responsibility. So what is that one message you have for your younger self? Take better care of your body. Take better care of your body. I had an athletic body when I was in high school. I swam when I was in college. I drank too much. I ate too much. And then after I got out of college, I got so busy with being a teacher and doing all these things, I just didn't pay attention to the health of my body. I am a type 1 diabetic now. Now that actually had nothing to do with well, the way that I lived. A virus killed my pancreas, like COVID. But I also know that I, it would be easier for me to walk were I smaller. Uh, I am active. I'm very active. I had a broken foot. I have a really bad back. There are just a lot of things that I would have, I wish I had paid more attention to that I didn't. So do you regret anything in life? Wow. Uh, excuse me. I am a, the, the, this is telling me, you know, check your blood sugar. So do I, oh, wow. I, you know, it's interesting that you should ask me that because I was thinking about that the other day. There are a few things I regret. I, re, I regret making up with my high school boyfriend the way I did back in about 57 years ago. I, like I said, I, I regret not taking better care of my body. I, I regret not starting traveling sooner. I wish I had begun that. I went um, right out of high school and then when I was in college I went on a trip and then I didn't go for like 40 years because I thought I couldn't afford it, but I could. So do you have any life advice for the people? Yes, I do. Okay. As an old woman, I would say that you need to be very true. I am so sorry. You have to be true to who you are, true to yourself. If you let other people dictate your life, whether it be a spouse, children, a boss, if they dictate your life and you don't want them to, then you need to do something about that because you should be in control of your own life. So if you are in a situation that is not an, is untenable for you, that makes you unhappy, you need to do something about the situation or leave it. And not put yourself through something because you think, oh, it'll get better. It almost never does.
If it's bad at one point, it's going to stay bad. Wow. That is amazing. Thank you so much. My pleasure. It's, it's very my nice pleasure. to it's meet nice you. It's nice talking with you. I Thank you so it. much. Thank you. Thank you.